Okay, I'm back. Went through some more when I had some time. So here's some more documents, guys. see where it went to and These are some of the charges. There's a lot more since then from when this was written up. These people are fucking stupid. They're ignorant, educated assholes or what they are. I don't think they're educated. I think they cheated. And that was from me doing jury duty. And then look at this. See that? Marriage, you guys can read it. Freeze frame it. Now they try to destroy you when they know you're on to them. And then look at the date. Or on my dogs <laughs> for barking at people by the fence. Uh, here's my attorney grievance complaint against Legio, which never did anything to him. He knows he was guilty. He sold my son out. He could have beat the case easily. One of the kids did get an attorney that did fight it and won. But after our kids pled guilty from these shitty ass attorneys that they have. Because they're all one big cabal family up here. And Trump needs to address this shit big time. Along with the Department of Justice. I want the state prosecutor and the Attorney General and the Governor held responsible. Grand Holmes, I'll show you some of the letters she returned to me. Saying, oh, I better do as I'm told. This is communist Michigan. Socialist Marxist bunch of pieces of shit. They held me on a $100,000 cash bond. I'll show you my police report. Where I had my rifle and my vehicle for self-defense against this corrupt County Sheriff and City of Port Huron Police Department. I was going to work with them guys, and then people started telling me shit and showing me shit, and I'm like, whoa, them people are corrupt. So, 
There you go, people. There's some more I went to. I got a lot, as you can see. All that. Folders and stuff. I've been going through, checking everything out. And a lot more. I got boxes of videos. I'll bring them out and video them. Because they're all of the stalkers. And I got videos of the conversations on my phone. Because the phone I had, you could record your conversation. It'll show the beeps, hear the beeps. Real loud beeps. And I got the phone bill. Got one of them shows all the calls of their harassment constantly, people. It was like every five, ten minutes, these assholes would call my house. We got all the phone numbers. They can be traced. I have to go through the NSA to get all that shit. We will. Conversations. They have nothing on me. I did not participate with Ross's little corrupt shit. And if you guys read the one letter, that letter right there, I'll explain it to you. And if you want to see the dolls, there's one of them, there's another one, and there's a big one over there. And you can see it's a king of dolls. That's how long we've had these things. So, we're dealing with state garbage, state corrupt attorney generals, and DEA, corrupt DAs, district attorneys. I think I showed you their name, Barbara McQuad. And I'm going to be showing you guys the ones out of the state. I think he's out of Macomb County is where they all hide out at. They drive up here and they use the vehicles from the sheriff department or the city of Port Huron or they'll have their little gurus there. But this is what's interesting, guys. Greg Ramirez. Hey, now show you guys the unlawful assembly police report. It shows the Ramirez is leaving the Times Herald building, going all the way down to where the Ace Hardware store is, where my son and a few of his friends were at, and attacked them. But they had to switch everything. They hid the tape from uh, Ace Hardware. They used it as a training video. And it shows that the Ramirez and all of his little cash flow gangbangers pulled up and attacked these kids. And they fought back, but these kids were charged. Ramirez got two days in jail, and I think they had him in the trustee cell. Because he's a snitch. Just like this bitch is. But he can go out and rape 13 year old girls. Sell dope right across the street from the school. And it was within a thousand feet or 1500 feet. That Mexican t-shirt shop. What a joke. Trump needs to clean it up. These are the gangs that these Dems use. Just like they use the... Uh, Goop balls to terrorize people. That's what they use there. And if you do anything to defend yourself, you're getting charged. Oh, they can hack your shit and stuff. And if you do anything, they're going to flip it around and try charging. But it's going to court this time. Either way, it's going to jury trial on up in the federal court. The federal judge told me when they give you that opportunity, you jump on it. Yeah, mid in Midland, they used my 
debit card number at a veterinarian shop. Well, the vet already gave us the names of the two people. Said it was a younger girl. She wasn't no 60 years old. That's how old my wife is. You know, I'm 60, she's 58, sorry. <laughs> but, yeah, that's what's happening, guys. This is the trash they're using right there. And some. I got a lot of these assholes on videos. I even showed the cop the one video on my phone. And I told him I have it on VHS. Said he didn't care because he knew who was behind it. But I got him on tape and he can tell a federal judge what happened there. Because I'm also hooking up with a law firm that does professional responsibility from the Department of Justice. I called this number that was on my phone from the goofballs at Sprint or Metro PCS or intercepting and shit. I had this black girl. She calls. I answer. I hang up. So I call the number back. See who it was. Oh, you called me. I said, no. But before she did that, I had called this number to the Department of Justice. Well, then I went online and looked it up, and it was a totally incorrect number. So I got a hold of them on another phone because they're on my phone. They're trying to monitor everything I do and try to intercept all my calls. But too late now, guys. Your ass is grass, FBI, CIA, who all is involved in this is going down. You're losing your jobs. I am going to seek that for sure. You guys are corrupt. You're idiots. You're assholes. You're pinned down. And another thing, look who the arresting officer is on that. Damn, I think he's the sheriff of the St. Clair County Sheriff Department, Donnellan. He likes working with this corrupt shit. And if I was you ladies out there that are married to half these bitches in the Port Huron Police Department in the county, I'd be asking them to take a polygraph if they're messing with any of these guys' as old ladies or something. If something's up. Because Henry wanted me to hook him up with women. They would go around topless while they were golfing with them. That's your CIA for you. Henry ain't a bad guy. He's just in the wrong agency. I think that agency messed that sand nigger up. I got along with Henry, I thought, you know. I cleaned his carpets and his rentals and his house. I did work for him. He always paid me nothing you know, going on, but then I think the Department of Justice in that uh, called well, <laughs> that McKay bitch, they need to go, they need to be disbarred, period, America, along with your state attorney general, assistant attorneys, they need to be let go, any, some of these prosecutors up here, they need to go, I de um, so far, the prosecutor we have up here, he hasn't, I don't think he believes these people. Wendelin, I think his name is. I'm not sure, but we'll find out. Because I'm watching them all. There's a big group of us. We've been doing this stuff for years. That's how the government finds out about a lot of the corruption that's going on. As you can see, I wrote stuff. The Department of Justice called them, talked to them. Had U.S. Marshals on my porch, six of them, when I lived over on Well Street. Which I think they were part of my house being taken, I'm not sure. But Patrick Reed was the marshal that came out and seen me with his goon squad. Yeah, them marshals are corrupt from what I've seen, a 400-page document. But it's mainly up in the upper echelons of these agencies. It's like their boss above them is the ones that are corrupt from stuff I'm reading. I didn't get to read it all, but I went through half of it, and it's not too good for the marshals. The shit on the FBI, that fool boy, guys, FBI is terrible. And I, he even gave me a number on the back of the card. I think it's on one of my videos. I showed his card to an FBI agent. 
And he said she's from Washington, but when I looked it up, no, she ain't. She's from Michigan. She's here in Michigan. And I don't trust none of them. Not from what I read and how they do their shit. The CIA, Henry told me if I learned a couple, three to five different languages, he'd get me in the CIA. But I told him, nope, I'm with the people. Because I had heard and, and seen stuff on the CIA from the past. Vietnam, they supplied the LSD in Vietnam. They're the ones that make it. The Germans are the ones that invented meth. That's what they used in their blitzkrieg's when they would attack. And that's how they moved so fast because they wouldn't sleep. They wouldn't eat or sleep. It was one mad moving machine. So I got a lot more people. A whole lot more, as you can see, to go through. And then there's more. Like three more boxes down there I'm going to go through. And it has to deal with... um. My wife, attorney, Mike Kilpatrick, um, has to deal with them taking our house and denying us the right to trial. That was Judge Kelly. Because they believe these little liars with badges and their little lying, corrupt, evil snitches. Holy shit. And these corrupt hackers. What is up with Anonymous? Huh, guys? Well... We check them all out. And this, I do believe, is part of the state or the feds, your CIA or FBI, hacking. They went into our bank account. We got the cops on video there. So they're going to be pulled in the federal court because they're the ones, I think, give out our Social Security number and our uh, debit card number because they got to go into our bank account and go through everything to find out there's nothing there because I don't sell meth. I have no clue what they're talking about. The double disciples murderers or Ross's murder because that was between Jeff Ross and that Jason Thompson they nicknamed Animal. I never did find out where he how Ross met him but I do believe it was through the double disciples. He was Ross's enforcer, guys. And I know that much. And I also had my nephew Dave that was busted down in Ohio. At Lynn, he told me the guy's name was Lynn because I had forgotten. I only, Ross met, had him up once. They came up to pick him up and he introduced me to him. That's all I know of these people. Was, hi, how you doing? I am Ross's brother, Sandy. And then Ross told me later, if anything happens to me, these are the people that you want to give names out to. So, and to let people know that they have their own enforcement, just like the devil disciples do. And these people want you to get involved. Do not get involved with law enforcement guys at this time. They're pretty evil. You have a goofball running the union which i think we need to do away with the police union just like reagan did away with the air traffic controllers union so god bless stay safe i'll be back with you again bye